Welcome to my session. Today I would take up the questions on filling blanks in sentences with appropriate verbs. So these questions are often coming in the competitive exams and this is also a part of the syllabus of the CUET exam in DA as well as the other competitive exams. Now, if you like my sessions, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification and I too get a lot of boost to bring up more and more such exercises for you. So, all the best of preparations for your future exams. So, here in this uh, session, I would be discussing filling blanks and sentences with appropriate words. So, the first question here is, now, first you all try to do yourself. After that, I am explaining each question with the answers. So, the first question here is, did the girls turn dash for dance practice? So, what will you put? This is a phrasal verb. That is, verb plus preposition makes a phrasal verb. So, did the girls turn up for dance practice? Turn on, turn back, turn in. So, here the answer will be turn up. Now, the meaning of turn up is be found. Alright, it is be found found that is were the girls uh, found in the for the dance practice question number two i haven't seen you dash a week now here you have to insert a preposition since a week within a week for a week before a week so i haven't seen you when the number is clear a week all right so, in that case, you put for. So, the answer will be for. So, here it is the answer will be for. That is, I haven't seen you for a week. Means one week. Suppose it is, I haven't seen him for two weeks. He did not come home for five years so for five years when the number is given you put four and when since is used when the point of time is given you use since for example you can use with since he is practicing piano since last week since monday so, he is practicing piano since Monday. The point of time is given. Suppose it was like this. He is practicing piano dash 10 days. Then you will put for 10 days. The number is given. So, learners, I hope you have understood this difference. And this the mistake often the students do. Next. Now, we take up the next question. After they dash lunch, the boys ran outside. Have eaten, had eaten, were eating, would eat. So, the answer will be here. After they had, sorry, they had eaten lunch, the boys ran outside. Now, here it will be, this is a what? This is had eaten this is a past perfect tense past perfect tense when do you use past perfect tense when it talks about something that happened before something else before another action is going to take place so when are you using past perfect tense when it has happened it talks about something that happened before another action is going to take. That is, after they had eaten lunch, the boys ran out. After they finished lunch, the boys ran outside. 
next the child was true with his friends now you have to give the correct answer for this underlined words the child was true it will be to his friends when you use true to true to means when a person is loyal all right when a person is loyal it is true to so it is when the child was true to his friends or you can say the subjects were true to the king means loyal okay next i saw a dash of elephants in the field this is a collective noun you must learn all these groups the name of the used for the groups i saw a you have to write here i saw a herd a herd of elephants in the field so i saw a herd of elephants in the field so what you use a group of boys herd of elephants swarm of bees when a group of bees are there then you use a swarm of bees a flock of uh, cattle so you can use like this these are the correct collective nouns usage next question number 6 only the chairman dashed to the proposal to build more houses only the chairman dashed to the proposal that is proposal means some kind of uh, proposal proposal some kind of uh, offer was made to build more houses so it will be only the chairman objected so it will be here it will be objected only the chairman objected to the proposal to build more houses we were dashed from seeing the prisoner that is we were affected you cannot write we were prevented we were inhibited we were punished so we were affected is not cannot be it will be we were prevented that is to stop something to happen that is we were not allowed to see the prisoner inhibited means what very reserved kind of punished is of course punishment saja khan saja pana he did not qualify dash the job now this is a very common sentence he did not qualify for the job so here you see in filling the sentences filling the blanks with appropriate word under this all the different uh, topics of grammar can be asked i felt very proud this these are what preposition proud of myself i felt very proud of myself next my sister and dash are pleased to accept your invitation i me myself myself i myself so here it cannot be me it cannot be myself it cannot be i myself it will be i my sister and i are pleased that is auxiliary verb is followed after i and me is always an what is it it is an object pronoun objective pronoun sorry when some objective when uh, me is used you know you should know that it has to be in a object he sent me he sent for me who is me me is the object here so it is objective pronoun me you cannot use but i has to be used because after i the auxiliary uh, verbs are also used my sister and i are pleased both of them my sister and i this is the subject are pleased to accept your invitation next he dash his camera on the table 
so here you put he dash his camera on the table so here you are putting sorry this is he laid the camera laid means what put something down put something down he laid his camera on that is he put the camera down now lay is the past participle of laid only and lay is the main verb lay laid lay all right and lie of course is uh, totally different that is lie to lie down means to rest he i absolutely refused to put the dash with that sort of conduct here again phrasal verb i absolutely refused to i absolutely refuse to put up with now what is the meaning of put up with that means to uh, put up with is to tolerate when do you use when when you cannot sorry to tolerate so it is well the put up is the meaning of put up is to tolerate okay next next sentence it is necessary to dash standards are maintained it is necessary to it cannot be ensure it cannot be influenced it will be ensure ensure to means to be sure it is to be surely to be maintained the standards have to be maintained many of the cities narrow streets now narrow streets what will it be it cannot be distinguished it cannot be doubled it cannot be rehabilitated it of course a narrow streets have to be widened so the answer will be the correct here word is widened that is here the oh my god so here it will be will be widened so here it can be widened huh? okay next next he usually dash on time he usually he usually after that you have to put a sorry you have to put a present tense he usually arrives on time he usually arrives on now learners you must remember that after such verbs usually um seldom then uh what else always always you always are putting simple there are many more etc many other sometimes never all those you are always putting simple present tense okay so he usually arrives on time next for dash sake don't tell it to others now this is a very common idiom for dash sake that is for heaven sorry for heaven's sake don't tell it to others number 17 i have dashed lakshmi for past 12 years no new known knows now no is the verb all right main verb new is the past tense and known is the correct answer that is the past participle so so what is the answer 
I have known Lakshmi for past 12 years. Next, I hope you all are getting correct. One of the players forgot to turn up for practice. One of the players forgot to turn up for the practice. Sorry here. This is the one. One of the players forgot to turn up for the Turn up means, I told you, turn up is to be found. He was not present there. Nobody believed Ram at first, but he dashed to be right. That is, he turned out to be right. So, it will be the last one. He turned out to be right. Oh my, sorry, sorry, sorry. He turned out to be right. So, nobody believed Ram, but he turned out to be right. The last question here is the 20th one. We live dash a tower block. Where do we live? Our apartment is on the 15th floor. So, we live in a tower block. So, we live in a tower block. Sorry here. So we live in a tower block. Our apartment is on the 15th floor. So learners, I hope you all have understood these type of sentences. And if you have any query, please write in the comment box. I will be coming up with the explanation of that particular problem. So see you soon.